think you're so great. Strutting around. Hey, mister. I just want to be left alone, all right? Come on, mister. This here is my factory. Yeah. I'm using it. You, uh, uh, whatever do you want? <coughs> oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Uh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. You owe me money. Uh, I'm working... <coughs> Working as hard as I can. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. Your dad's caught you, mister. And it ain't letting go. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money.
Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Then, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Hi, Tilly. Hello, Lena. Hello, Arthur. Thank you, Mr. Morgan, for sparing me like that. I'll work hard. I am not a bad fella. You'll soon warm to me. Just see that I do. Oh, you will. Boy. Hmm? Thank you for saving my life. Well, yeah, of course. Gentlemen, Hold up. sir. Uh, howdy. Mr. Morgan, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These... I can't, partners. <laughs> I don't mean to spoil your fun, but I got things to do. You sure? Quite sure. I got to get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. Where'd he go? I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Hello. 
Excuse me, but I need some money. Hey now! Pull in I fought horns, in the war. Friend. I fought for you!
Unless you maintain that peace, more often you'll have to see me. It's up to you. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. Don't listen to the folk around here. I do not and will not ever do arms business with no gang. Careful with the pages. If it weren't for all the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business. The more bounty posters that go up, the more people flock to my shop. Plenty of reason for that in Valentine. You'll see a few people in town with that, too. The sheriff's got an app for himself at one point. Volcanic pistol. She's slow on the reload and lever action, depending on how... Oh, eh, no worries, then. Classic. Every man should know how to handle this. She shoots strong and straight. I wouldn't sell her if she didn't. Jacob Worth is a friend of mine. I admire him, but he's just about the worst poker player in all of Valentine. Any information about anything, anything at all, you can give me a shout. Hello. How are you? I'm just fine, thank you. Partner? Can't tell you this ring for a minute? 
The more bounty posters that go up, the more people flock to my shop. Plenty of reason for that, Valentine. Jacob Worth is a friend of mine. I admire him, but he's just about the worst poker player in all of Valentine. So about that, the Volcanic Pistol. She's slow on the reload and lever action, depending on how well you take to it. But goddamn, this bitch is good from a distance. Seen some bad, bad damage with this. I bet this will shoot better with some new sights. So, uh... Damn, man, uh... Couldn't happen to a less deserving fellow. That's something, sure is. Well, anyway. If it weren't for all the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business. Yep, this is the one. You know what? Bet you you could use some rifling on this thing. Uh-huh. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. It does seem strange to me that they'd need so many guards of Cornwall, kerosene, and tar. Must be something else going on there. Very nice. Let's have a look. I do quite a lot of blacksmith work in here, too. Don't mind the clutter. I'm looking forward to testing this out. Can't be there. Come on. Don't worry about it. Let's watch it. So long. Somebody. 
You best not be back and cause more trouble around here. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Uh, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So... <laughs> Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. <laughs> okay, boy. Yeah.
Welcome back, mister. Okay, let's see. This must be an heirloom, huh? Oh, yes. People lose these all the time. Pick this up off the street, no doubt. Hmm. Come across a few of these myself. Oh, yes. People lose these all the time. Hmm. Now where did you get this, I wonder? What is this? I don't want the law in here after you. You're trying to annoy me, friend? Move, idiot! Enough! Get out of my sight! Law's got to see to this. The only thing that makes me happy. So the only thing that makes you happy is being in your head somewhere else. <laughs> I suppose I never thought of it quite like that. You never read? No, I never said you did. They're getting hungry, Mr. Morgan. Who is? The people you haven't fed. Me? When did that become my job? Others are pulling their weight. Ah, oh, give it a rest, we. Ah, Miss Morgan, you seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? What you doing, Tilly? Nothing, Miss Grimshaw? That's right, nothing. You're useless. You're worse than useless. You're a parasite. You're a worm. Ridiculous. Get ready. But I don't want to work, Miss Grimshaw. I don't feel right. I don't care what you feel, girl. Get ready! <laughs> useless horror. Let's get...
Arthur? Miss Karen, how you getting on? Fine so far. <laughs> and to think I was once a damsel in distress, and now they got me protecting the men. <laughs> Just stay alert. Oh, I shall do. If anyone tries anything, I'll blow their heads off. Ah, it's you. Hello, mister. It's worth buying. I'll buy it.
Got a little kick show in mind, huh? All sorts of unusual ways to acquire goods in this world. I'm not one to judge. Oh, you got something for me? Sure. See you around. Come on, boy. Stay there, boy. Let's go, boy. 